I'm Paul Tinsel and I'm understudying Cami, Roscoe, Nabsey, Fraz and Kenzie. My name's Chris Starkey, I'm playing the Stewarty. My name's Ian Perry, I'm playing Lord Elgin and the Officer and a little bit of Alex Salmon. We're now on week two, um, the hair's gone. Um, it's weird, it's like stroking a dog. It's really cold. I can't believe it's only week two because it feels as if we've been here for a good like five weeks already. We've been covering so much ground in such a short space of time. It's going well. We've been uh, we've run all the scenes all together, worked on them briefly, uh, get a structure together. The majority of the movement stuff's done as well, and all the songs, um, and it's looking really promising. I think it's just filling in, filling in the blanks and then uh, joining the scenes together, making them all uh, look slick and working on all the marching. Everyone's quite scared of parade because you're meant to look like an army regiment and you've got all your your, your moves and sequences. It's very well getting it right, 70% of it right, but you need to get it 100% right, which is the difficult part, getting all the hard movements down the right time, your salutes, so it's all got to be timed perfectly. There's a lot of soldiers and military come and see this show, apparently. In the last couple of casts, they pride themselves on doing a good parade, so it's very, very tricky, but we'll get there, we're getting there. And now we, we seem to be, every day when we get in, let's do parade. You just have to sort of focus yourself, do parade. But Stephen's been doing parade straight after the warm-up. So he makes you do, when you're physically exerted and you, you can't do much more, he makes you do parade and he says, right, that's how you're going to feel by the end of the performance. So get used to it. And all the physical stuff like fashion. Yeah, rehearsing fashion, it's um, been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a mess in the old head. It's kind of trying to follow follow five people's routines, five people's roots around the stage. I've got five journeys to learn, so I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, st I'm, I've, I've, I'm on my second page of notes at the moment. It's like a, it's like a ball of wool, really, it just sort of, just keeps on unravelling those little bits and pieces and you're running around trying to think item clothing is going next. Most stuff revolves around Cami. Once you get that sorted, then everyone else falls into place, but yeah, you don't want to slip up because <laughs> it ruins everything. You can't do anything in fashion. And it was one thing that I said to Jack the other day was, you can't do anything. You just walk up and down and you let it all happen to you. So for a performance, quite a challenging part of the show. You need to put your arms and legs in the right place, but once you've done that, your, your responsibility is gone and you end up wearing, you wear the mistake, but you can't do anything about it. But what it does create is a lot of pressure on the rest, a healthy pressure on the rest of the guys, because it has to be really precise and it has to be like a roll tool and where suddenly this guy put together like this and it's all gone before we know it. So um, it's a lot of, it's a lot of um, fast thinking, but um, those are the sequences that I love making. Mentally, it's quite exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>